Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Danielle Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Now let's go to Mr. Polly. Hello, students of Renaissance Charter School of Pines. Mr. Polly here for another Polly Positive Act of the Week. So far, we have taken out the trash, doing the dishes, cleaning our room. Yes, we're going to add one more this week, and that's going to be please make your bed. Please make sure we wake up every day and the first thing we do is make your bed. At least we accomplish one thing if we wake up and make your bed the first thing in the morning. This will help out your family greatly during these times. Thank you and can't wait to see you next week for another Polly Positive Act for the week. Thank you Mr. Polly, that was great. Now let's go to Jane to see what's happening today in history. Thank you Danielle. Today in history on May 21st, 1932, Amelia Earhart becomes the first woman to make a solo air crossing of the Atlantic Ocean from Newfoundland to Ireland. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors. Thank you, Jaden. Hello, Patriots family. Welcome to Things to Do if You're Bored. For today's activity, we're going to be making a Father's Day gift. This is what it looks like. Here are the steps. First, take a red sheet of paper and cut it in half. Then take the other half and fold it up. Then cut that in half and take your two sides and fold them back and forth until you get a fan shape. After you've done that, fold, um, glue one side of it and fold it in half. Make sure that you push it hard so it doesn't come apart. Then do it to the second one. Then glue both sides together. Next, take some yellow paper and cut out the shape of a circle on it. And then write a message on it. To make it look nice, decorate it. And then glue the back of it and put it onto the award. Then take another sheet of paper and cut two thin strips and then cut triangles out of both of them. Then glue them both together and then glue the top of the award to it. Wasn't that great? something awesome to give to your father for Father's Day. Remember, if you do this DIY, send a picture or video to pines.renaissance at gmail.com and don't forget to check tomorrow for the next DIY and stay creative. Now let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Nathaniel. Now let's go to Weather with Vani. Thank you, Danielle. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 87 degrees Fahrenheit and thunderstorms. Now, let's go back to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Vani. And here's today's joke of the day. While walking along the street, a man saw a sign that said, Talking Dog for Sale, $10. The man couldn't believe his ears when the dog said, Please buy me. I'm a great dog. I play professional football. I was even nominated most valuable player. The dog really does talk, the man gasped. Why in the world do you want to sell him for only $10? He never played professional football, said the man, and I can't stand liars. <laughs> now let's go back to Danielle. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. 
That was so great! In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your Emoto page to welcome your scholars in the morning. Attendance must be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. Represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Moraz, Mr. Santiago, Mrs. Cutner, Ms. Gilbert, Ms. Cavalita, and Mrs. Santiago. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was... A little girl goes to the store and buys one dozen eggs. As she is going home, all but three break. How many eggs are left unbroken? The correct answer to the riddle was three eggs. Now for today's riddle. There's a one-story house in which everything is yellow. Yellow walls, yellow doors, yellow furniture. What color are the stairs? Once again, there is a one-story house in which everything is yellow. Yellow walls, yellow doors, yellow furniture. What color are the stairs? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesofrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your responses to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day. <laughs>